Hi everyone, I am Gunjan Dhanuka and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am a final year computer science undergraduate at IIT Guwahati and I recently gave my GRE examination. Today, I received my official scores and I have scored 331 out of 340 in the GRE exam with a full 170 in quant and 161 in verbal. So this video will be about how you can also prepare for GRE in end of one month of practice. I did it in one month and you can also have a good score in both quant and verbal. We will be talking about all the strategies, all the timelines, the resources that you need to use and by the end of the video, I will also be sharing all the resources that I used for my preparation. So make sure to hang till the end and have a good watch. So for those of you who are new to this thing, GI stands for Graduate Record Examination and it is a compulsory examination that is required by many of the universities for master's programs abroad of India. So here we are talking about the GI general test. Now the general test contains two subjects that is quant and verbal. Now verbal has many question types, a few of which are sentence equivalence, text completion, reading comprehension and logical reading comprehension. On the quant side, there are many topics from which a number of questions based on mathematical aspects come like algebra, arithmetic, geometry, probability, statistics and so on. So these are the two major subjects that encompass the GRE examination. Apart from this, there is also a writing section where you have to write two essays, argument essay and an issue essay to, that makes up your entire GRE paper. Now let us start talking about the strategy. So the first step in knowing your strategy is to know where you stand right now and for that a diagnostic test is very important. So the first step of your journey for GRE should be to take a diagnostic test and ideally you can take a test from the ETS's website. So you can go to ETS website, you can buy a free free online test of the Power Prep series, you will get two of them for free. So you can buy the first one, the time test and give the first test in exactly the exam like conditions as you can simulate. You can maybe go to your institute library or sit in your room. So isolated from people and give the examination with 4 hours of concentrated uh, focus. You can maybe skip the essay part if you feel like you don't want to write that much right now but do make sure to go through each and every section of the quant and verbal portions to get an idea of how the exam length is, what is the difficulty of the questions and the best part is since this test is prepared by the ETS themselves who also conduct the GRE examination, the questions will be very much similar to what you will face in actual GRE exam. So this will be the best estimator for your current performance. Now based on your mock test scores, you will get the result instantly. So you, after getting the results, a lot of analysis is to be done to see how much time can you afford to give to the exams, when should you schedule your test and what all resources you need to complete in order to get a good score. So the first thing, first thing you will need to see your quant scores. So for example, the quant scores are generally higher than the verbal scores for most of the participants because quant is fairly basic in what is taught in many of the undergraduate colleges. So in quant, if you are receiving above 160, that is a very good score. So you will just need to manage the silly mistakes that you do and you should be good to go with the main exam. So you don't need to prepare much for quant in that case. However, if you are scoring less than 160, then you might need to prepare for quant as well and you need to set apart time while planning your GRE examination for quant. On the other hand, for the verbal, so if you are scoring, for example, let's say 150 plus on verbal, then you are already at a very good point and if you are scoring 155 plus, then it's brilliant. Okay? So if you are scoring somewhere around 140s or 130s, you might still need a lot of time to grasp up those new words understand the structuring of the sentences and what the logical reading comprehensions mean because most of the mistakes will be from you not knowing the meaning of the words or you misinterpreting, misinterpreting something which was uh, mentioned in the comprehension so once you have analyzed your mock test scores the next step is planning the actual GRE examination see if you don't have a deadline our brain is not really motivated to work towards it at its full capacity and you know GRE is a flexible examination so students keep postponing keep postponing until it becomes too late so to avoid doing that, based on your mock test scores, you can schedule a date in future so that you prepare actively towards it. So, for example, if you are scoring, let's say, above 155 in verbal and above 160 in quant, then you can schedule for GRE in about one month. That would be good enough for your preparation. However, if you are scoring around, let's say, 140, late 140s or early 150s in verbal and you are scoring 150s in quant, then you might need to give two or two and a half months of preparation since you will need to capitulate both the verbal and the quant portions together right so you might need more time in that case at any chance if you're scoring less than 140 in quant and verbal then you might need to give a time of more than four months for preparing for GRE so this was how you can schedule your test now coming to the actual strategy for the GRE examination there are three things you need to keep in mind verbal vocabulary and quant now why am I separating verbal and vocabulary this is because vocabulary in itself is a huge thing that you need to prepare and while you will be preparing for verbal through questions or videos or whatever you will also need to spend time separately on vocabulary to make sure that your word knowledge is enough so you can attempt those questions, right? So there are three things you need to keep in mind. Now, while you're planning your study schedule, you need to uh, understand in which areas are you strong and in which areas are you weak. 
So, for example, you scored good in the quant section in your mock test, then you can afford to give less time to the font and more time to verbal and vocabulary. On the other hand, if you know that your vocabulary is already quite good and you just need a good brush up of all the words that are required in GRE, so you can give less time to the vocabulary and spend more time brushing up your quant and your verbal skills. So it depends a lot on you. There is no one size fits all program that will do for everyone. So it depends largely upon your scores and your strengths and your weaknesses. So depending on the mock test analysis, you can come up with a schedule for yourself as you will see in the next session of the video. So let us now discuss about the resources I use for preparing for the GRE exam. So first of all, talking about vocabulary, I use the Mamush vocabulary app for preparing for my words. Now the app contains a lot of flashcards and they are categorized into three parts, common, basic and advanced. And there are six to seven sets of each and every category. So what you can aim for is, you can complete one set per day if you have one month of time and you will be able to do most of the sets by then. Also, if you have having more time or if you can do more per day, then you will even get time to revise those sets. Now, what I also recommend is, you really pay attention to the word meaning that you are seeing in the flashcard to what you remember. Because sometimes the words have very subtle differences in their meanings and that can often stump you in the examination. So make sure that you know the context in which the word is used. There are also examples given. Try to remember the examples that they write or you make up with your own examples and write those down and then prepare so that you retain those words for the examination, right? Now, the second thing which I use for vocabulary is a book called Word Power Made Easy. So now that book is very good in the way that it approaches words by the very roots. So it breaks down words, sees their derivation which, uh, from where they have come, what are their parent words, and then lets you construct the meaning yourself. So you don't have to rote learn a lot of different words. Instead, if you know the meaning of some words, you can come to other words very directly and very intuitively. So that is a very good thing if you are having time on your hand you can also approach that particular book and unlock a new way to learn word meanings essentially. Now coming to the verbal and the quant sections. So the first set of books I highly recommend everyone to try out are the official GRE books by the EDS. Now why is that important? Because EDS is the company that will set your test and if you go through their books you will get an understanding of their motive of, the, of what they want to test by taking your examination and the questions are also a taste of what you will, might face in the exam itself, right? So, it is highly recommended you go through those books. They don't have a lot of questions. It's just to get your feet wet into all this GRE stuff. And then you can move on to books that have more questions, have more advanced questions, have more difficult questions. So, firstly, you complete these two books, the official GRE verbal and the official GRE quant. Now, for the second step, you can pick up the five pound book by Manhattan Prep for GRE problems. It contains more than 2000 problems of various chapters. And it will really help you get a very good practice of all the type of questions you might face there. So I highly recommend everyone to try out the verbal part because I was very I was very moved by the type of questions they asked, how it critically tested your ability to understand the context, the meaning, and to say the right answer. Even at times when I knew the meaning, I was not able to get the right answer going on. So it is very important to go through the verbal section. No matter how you are high you had scored in the mock test, you should really check out the verbal and complete it. Also for the quant, now I didn't solve the entire quant portion myself, but I solved a few particular sections where I felt I could do a mistake or I was committing mistakes in my mock test. So what I recommend for you as well is from the mock test and also there's a diagnostic test in the book itself. So give the diagnostic test, see which type of questions you are making repeated mistakes in or you don't understand the concept properly. Go to that particular chapter and solve the problems. Now this is if you had already scored say 160 plus on your mock test. If you didn't score 160 plus or you had a score of 140s or 150s or even less than that, then you will need to solve the entire quant portion because I believe the quant questions were also really nice. They were well structured, they were testing all the edge cases, all the formulae. So if you happen to get those done, you will have a very good foundation in GRE questions. So this was all about the materials that I used. So I stuck with only a very limited set and it is important that you do the same. If you go running after each and every book, each and every app, then you will be lost and you will not stick to anything properly. So instead what I say is, pick up few materials from each and every source and then stick to them religiously, solve them, complete them and once you are done with them, now only then you are allowed to move to other books, other resources. because. Every other day you will get recommendations here and there that that particular book is better, that is better, that is better. But it is not really the case. Those books have been crafted by experts and thousands of students across the world use them and solve them and get good scores. So just a minor difference between two books doesn't make you switch between the books while you're solving one of them. So pick up the books that I recommend or maybe someone else who is trained enough to recommend and solve those religiously. Only then you will be guaranteed a good score in a GRE examination. Now, one major problem many of us have is either you're already studying at a university or you are doing work and you need to prepare for GRE alongside those commitments already. So you don't have an entire day to yourself to commit to GRE, right? So in that case, how do you manage your time? How do you plan your resources so that you are able to complete them as well as not be burnt out at the end of the day? So for example, if you are at a university doing undergraduate classes, what you can do is whenever you, are, you have an off time during your classes, you take out your phone, solve a few flashcards from the Magusha and move on. 
and at the end of the day when you come back to your room set up a one hour or one and a half hour for yourself to take a manhattan prep book and solve it maybe 10 questions 15 questions 20 questions whatever how much whatever you're able to solve in one hour that's enough so effectively you are giving one to two hours of prep per day but in those pockets of space that you have between classes in your breaks you're able to get more and more words in and getting a vocabulary larger will really affect your gre scores also if you're working professional in the same way while you work for like 4 or 5 hours at a stretch or maybe 2 hours at a stretch and you need to take a break for 15 minutes take out your phone instead of scrolling through your instagram or your youtube you can go through that app and solve a few word meanings get get a sense of how much you've learned and you will be done for the day so to make it easier for you to access all of the resources that i have collected in my preparation for gre all you need to do is you need to fill up a form i will need your email address and i will deliver all of the material straight in your inbox i will be making future detailed videos on each of the section of gre namely the pond and the bubble and i will also be making videos on the tips you need to follow on the day before your gre examination what all you need to remember on the day of your gre examination and so on keep sticking till the end of the video if you found it enjoyable please leave a like and if you want to see something specific in the future leave a comment and if you want to see more of such content on gre on cs curriculum and so on press the subscribe button i will be coming up with more videos in the near future thank you bye bye